Hey gang, welcome back to another episode of Man Time. Today I'm going to continue um, where I'm working for the path for the water line. And I've got all this debris right in front of the backhoe here. And I'm going to try to use that new thumb, get this brush and debris, and move it toward the burn pile down there. And a couple things with a, with a big burn pile like that, uh, this one is pretty massive. Uh, I'm going to try to get it concentrated as much as I can in one central location and then dig a berm, uh, a dirt berm, all the way around it. And where I can't get with the backhoe to dig a berm uh, up around the brush pile, I'm going to go ahead and use cinder blocks to, uh, to block the uh, flame from escaping anywhere. So that's the, uh, the plan for today. So stick around and welcome to man time. Well, I just lost my first uh, bucket tooth, but the show must go on. Um, if you uh, saw where the tooth came off in the video, please comment below, and uh, I'll come back here and look for it.
first uh, major catastrophe of the day. Uh, well, no, not catastrophe. Let's not get too excited here. Uh, all right, so I had a tooth fall off, and now my homemade pin is missing. So let's see what we got in the backhoe um, that could act as, uh, as some sort of pin. And um, see if we can't figure out some way to keep that pin in there so I can get this, uh, this bonfire set up. Um, all right, all right. Uh, the only thing I was able to find was uh, a farmer's best friend. Um, which is commonly known as uh, as baling wire. So uh, let's see if we can't get this baling wire to uh, to act as a pin for us, huh? All right, there we go. I got uh, was able to get three strands of the baling wire through that pin, and uh, we'll see if that doesn't hold up for us. Let's talk for a minute about being efficient in the field and what that means to me. Um, what that means to me is using equipment that is uh, fuel efficient, lightweight, um, does the job in a capable manner. And uh, so that's why I've got the backhoe back here. That thumb makes it more capable 
Um, it is super fuel efficient with that three cylinder diesel engine. Um, got a true clutch in there, none of that electronic shuttle shift, E shift, uh, hydrostatic type of transmissions. Those are garbage. Um, but uh, yeah, I've got to come down through here and I've got a lot of these trees that are still um, full length. So uh, efficiency using the O2O, uh, fuel efficient and lightweight. Um, so it doesn't wear me out and that's uh, that's kind of what it means for me to be efficient in the field and and going through and if you're homesteading and cutting through the woods and trying to build a, uh, a house and clear the land to do that you need to be thinking about efficiency so let's fire this thing up and uh, get after it guess I should probably choke it huh Well, uh, running a chainsaw, um, almost went through a full tank there and um, start, started to uh, not make the best decisions. When you're running a chainsaw, uh, and especially going through a lot of brush like this, and smaller sticks, twigs, um, trees, tree limbs, branches, and you're cutting all that stuff up, um, the most important thing to do is move slowly and with purpose, thinking through each cut analyzing each branch, analyzing each tree, uh, where's it going to pinch at, is it going to pinch your bar, be mindful of your tip, making sure that that's not going to cause a, a kickback, and um, that's, what, that's what I was doing there. But if you find yourself not focusing, not being able to analyze those cuts and rushing, um, that means you're, you're slowing down, you're not making the, the best decisions, and that's kind of what happened to me there. So. I'm going to call it a day and call it another episode of Man Time. Thanks for joining me. Get out there and have you some Man Time too.